The Armstrong Research Group at the University of Arizona is researching ways to create more efficient Generation 3 photovoltaic cells. The team incorporates both proven methods and innovates new ones while determining which works best along the way. What we have here is a series of, uh, we call them uh, magnetron guns, which basically allow us to sputter or deposit thin films of conductive material on surfaces. You have an ion plasma, which then deposits the material on the glass. Think of an ion plasma as a atomic ice pick. So what we're literally doing is chipping away at the surface of this, of this material, which can be indium tin oxide, indium zinc oxide, and all different types of transparent conductors. And once those materials are ejected from the target, they are deposited on the surface of a substrate. After the transparent conductor is created, it is then cut down to a one inch by one inch square and placed into a boat assembly. So now that we got our transparent conductor in its boat, in the, our boat assembly, we're ready to load this into the vacuum system. After being sealed, a second layer of organic material is added to the cell, followed by a top contact layer, which can be masked into different shapes on the cell. So now that we've uh, deposited our organic films, uh, we bring them into this uh, glove box, which is filled with nitrogen, which has about 0.1 parts per million of oxygen and 0.1 parts per million of water. The reason that we have to bring our films into this box is to prevent it from oxidizing. So in here we have our film, and now we must switch the mask. So this mask has 20 devices, and this mask we use in order to try to characterize what the size of the photovoltaic does to the entire system. Metal deposition again happens inside a vacuum to prevent impurities, and when it is finished, the final chip is tested, the results are noted, and the process starts all over again. Now that we have completed our three steps, we're ready to test. So just to recap, our three steps were deposition of our transparent conducting oxide, deposition of our organic materials, and deposition of our aluminum top contact. Once that all that process is finished, we can see that our end result is a chip that looks like this.